orientation has met all of my expectations and exceeded them. Just like first day of school all over again. You know, you you have massive imposter syndrome. You know, these guys are the best of the best in the region. And at the end of the day, what what's different about the, the, the batch is that in school you come in there and you look at the look around the room and you're like, mm, you guys are my competition. But here we're gonna suffer together, okay? Because again, high stakes, no bullshit. We're gonna be forced to iterate fast, pun intended. What what I like is that I know that this this, this takes a village. In, in, in any startup ecosystem, it's always a village for it. That you can never get to your destination alone. Who you able to like be a part of a community like Heritage has just been the kind of magical experience for me personally. Um, so I just feel very grateful to continue being with Juan by by and continuing meeting um, amazing founders who are uh, also super, super excited. Yeah, so orientation is something that we've kind of like done somewhat recently. So when we started Iterative, we had an orientation which was like a one hour Zoom call and it was kind of like fine. Um, and then I think after COVID, we wanted a lot of people to kind of like meet each other and we thought a big part of the batch is actually meeting your batch mates and getting to spend time with people and so we have a three-day orientation now here in Bali um, where we do all of that. I think I, I really enjoy how closely we meet this company. Uh, I didn't expect to like, share the challenges that I have and you know the uh, doubt. The, 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 the awesome staff of uh, the business but this play, uh, iterative really provides us a really safe space and, just open up and share and know that we are not alone and uh, you know, provide us a life home. It's like a great company to be in. I think some really, really successful people all around us that are very highly capable and it just motivates us to go even further and you know, makes us feel a good kind of healthy competition. The founders feel really real and so you talk to each other and you just, I think, when you talk to founders and you're just quite, not brutally honest, but honest with each other and open and you can have a laugh. And it also shows that people are real founders. And that's been every single experience with people here so far. And it's just real people doing real things. I think they're super smart. Uh, they're super friendly. They're a bunch of nice people that we can talk to and I can be more open to them as well. Like they, they understood the pain that we are <laughs> going through. Yeah. And also it's like, uh, transparent. I think that's important, right? Like, it didn't feel like people were, like, their shields were up and unwilling to share. And I think that kind of community is super important. When I listen to what they're building, it makes me want to run faster. You know, like, when we see someone doing good, we also want to do good. Uh, and right now, it feels like I'm just, you know, super... I have all these tools that I've made so much that I'm just so excited to get back out there and really build them. Yeah. 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 Initially, I thought this is going to be uh, a more like one way sort of thing, something a bit formal, right? So, but then turns out this is really, really fun, really, really casual. Two ways. It reminds me about my first year in the startup, building a startup, right? So, the environment is really, really perfect. One of the great things about Brian and Sukan is just look how honest and straightforward they are. They cut through the bullshit. And it's all about the company and how they can help make the company successful. I think the most valuable stuff is always the speaker sessions and like the stories you get to hear because there's no more realistic way of understanding how these problems play out than to learn from people who've done it. Like especially when we heard stories from both Brian and uh, Moses, when they or like even our venture partners were here, uh, visiting partners were here earlier. Um, that when they started out their companies, when they found their first like 10 customers, 15 customers, how they went about doing it, uh, how they kind of had to like skirt around the law to do certain things that they had to. Uh, and that kind of makes you feel like this is not too distant because these guys have made it or are in the process of making it. So it doesn't feel too distant that we can do it. They are part of this like community of people that are doing this like weird thing that we all call startups. Um, and they're not alone in this, right? You're part of this kind of band of people that kind of like do this thing. So I think as founders, it's kind of a lonely kind of experience and it's fun to spend three days with a bunch of other founders talking about kind of the work, but also kind of like just spending time with people.